Hey, I'm Gap707 from the DRL. You're watching Ready, Set, Drone. Okay, so we are here at the Air Race, which is artificial intelligence robotic racing. There is code that was put onto an SD card, put into the drone, and then they push go and the drones are on their own. So it is quite amazing. We've got DRL pilots here. We've got all the programmers here who, who program this stuff. We've got a ton of fans. We've got a ton of people from the drone community and I'm excited to be here. So let's go check it out. We've wanted to have autonomous drones racing from the very beginning of DRL. We always dreamed that we could put like an AI in among the humans competing, but we realized how far the technology was. We were on a mission to figure out how to evolve that technology quickly so it could compete with humans. Met Lockheed Martin, they were on the same mission, so it was just a sort of real meeting in the minds. We brought the technology, the event know-how, the media. Uh, Lockheed brought their support. They brought the, uh, the sort of global presence that they have to it and it was the perfect pairing to, to bring this program to life. We wanted to do something really visible, um, really uh, fun, exciting around AI, and we decided to partner with the Drone Racing League, who was also interested in the prospects of AI, and they created a new sister league from their human, their um, Allianz, um, professional racing series called AIR, which stands for Artificial Intelligence Robotic Racing. And this is the inaugural season of that, using nine teams selected through the Alpha Pilot Challenge. first few levels were kind of rough, I'd say, because it's a bit like a hackathon. Like the teams had no ex no hands-on experience with the drone, really. All they had was like a code that they wrote themselves. So you just turn up, put it on, and then whatever happens, happens. Right. And uh, it took them quite a bit of time to start working through it and work out the kinks and make it work better. Uh, we had one team make two gates, I think, in the first level. Uh, at the second level, we saw one team make it all the way to the end. Uh, and uh, to level three, where we actually saw two teams make it to the very end. So uh, just for everybody at home, because I don't know if people really get this, um, is anybody flying these things or, or are they truly flying themselves? All the computers on board, the algorithm is entirely in charge of the drone. Uh, we have some well-placed safety features, of course, um, but all the computers on board, the teams hand us the algorithm, we put it on the drone and off we go. Underway in just a moment, heat number three. And just so we understand uh, the technology that these things are using, they're not using radar, they're using vision sensing, is that correct? Yeah, so these drones are entirely dependent on the cameras in front of them, so they're doing computer vision. I like to say these drones see the world the way we do with two stereoscopic cameras. That's what we got, that's how we perceive, that's how we make all of our decisions. The drones are the same way. So they don't have LiDAR and radar and other complex sensors. Those sensor packages are expensive, they're heavy, they break when they crash, they don't deal with vibration very well, they're not a great fit for drones. 
the future of autonomous drones or computer vision, and this is the stepping stone. Today, in practice, we saw a team complete the course in 10 seconds flat. Now that is getting pretty close to how fast the human pilot is able to run that course on the same drone. So we might see a pretty close rivalry between the AI and the human today, if not the AI surpassing the human on this course. Um, it's actually quite nerve-wracking because so as, as I watched them grow, I thought, you know, they, I got this, they, they can't finish. I'm just going to come in and then just putts to the end and it's going to be a walk in the park. So I'm sitting in the goggles and the thing is flying itself. So let me tell you, that is very scary. <laughs> and, and you were watching first person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm sitting there, and first of all, the aircraft goes, Tup! you're like, oh, wait a minute. I, I, can't, I could never imagine doing that. And then the thing goes full tilt. Ah! So it goes straight for this, this pillar. And then last moment, the drone levels out, goes, pa, pa. And then, oh, and then now we're through the gate. I'm like, ah. Oh, so I, it's, it's not curving. It's making almost 90 right. degree turns. I could have never, ever, ever do that. I don't know, I feel like a bit of a test subject. Um, well, you are. <laughs> you know, it's much like, um, you know, Ken Jennings when he had to face off against Watson or Gary Kasparov against Deep Blue. Those were, I think, moments in history. And I think that what's, this is what stays for me. This could be a real moment in history that we're about to witness. But, um, so I'm really, really happy to be here for yeah. this. Well, I mean, we're making history. You guys are all a part of making history right here, ladies and gentlemen, in Austin, Texas. Yeah, give it up. Come So, um, have you seen an improvement? This is a fourth in the series, right? Have you seen an improvement from race one to today? Tremendously. So, at race one, we saw a couple of teams make it to a quarter of the course route, a pretty simple course route. Today, we saw multiple teams finish the course route and finish it very quickly. Nice. Nice. But at the end of the day, on this one, uh, Gab Gab was a little worried. Uh, did, didn't look like he needed to be worried. Would you say? No, he did not need to be worried. I think we've got a couple of years until AI is close to a human's capabilities. Our Gab is a tremendous pilot. I think he's safe for now. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, obviously, there is a lot of potential in these things. They are getting better and better with each race. But of course, Gab was a little worried that he was going to get beat by the artificial intelligence. He did not. He crushed them, and that was pretty amazing. Uh, but I think that there will be a closer and closer uh, race each time. Artificial intelligence gets better, smarter, it learns every time. Uh, I think it's really interesting, really cool. If you like this video, please comment below, give it a big thumbs up, and hope you'll, hopefully you'll subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.